There are multiple reasons why a user would want to pin an image from a website to their Pinterest account. Maybe you find a funny or informative graphic that you would like to share with your friends. You may also find an image that you want to keep for your own records or reference. Maybe you find a nice chart or graph when doing research for a project. You can save it, along with the original source because it links back to the original website, in Pinterest. Now let's take a look at how I was able to bring these images from the World Wide Web into my Pinterest account. Although there are multiple ways for you to pin an image off of a website and onto one of your Pinterest boards, I'm going to show you the primary and most robust way of doing this. First, however, there is a bit of setup involved. We're going to need to add a pin it button to our browser's bookmarks bar. Here's our bookmarks bar up here. It's currently empty. So in order to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on this About menu here on Pinterest and then we're going to click on the pin it button. Once we add this button to our bookmarks bar it will allow us with the click of a button to add any image to Pinterest from any website. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and grab this pin it button right here on this Pinterest goodies page and I'm going to drag it up to my bookmarks bar. You can see once I do that it's now listed in my bookmarks bar and it simply says pin it. So now we're ready to go to any website on the internet, find an image that we'd like to add to Pinterest, and use the pin it button to do so. So you can see I have another tab open up here called Cute Kittens. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you can see there's an image of a cute kitten. Now let's say I want to add this image to my Pinterest account. Since we've already added the pin it button to our bookmarks bar, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to click the pin it button. It's going to pull all of the images on this particular page and allow me to choose which one I'd like to pin to my Pinterest account. In this particular scenario, there's only one available and that's the one I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And now I can go ahead and I can specify a little bit of information about this image. My first option is I can choose which board I would like it to pin this image to on Pinterest. So you can see I've got technology infographics, pin for graphics, a lot of technology boards, but this is a image of a kitten. So I'm just going to choose random. Or, if I wanted to, I could create a new board right from this screen. I'm not going to do that at the, at the moment. I'm just going to choose random. And then I can go ahead and I can specify a certain title or description for this image. Or I can leave it default, which is basically the title attribute that the webmaster gave the image on the website, cute-kittens. I'm going to change that to just say cute kitten. And then I can go ahead and hit the big red pin it button to pin it to my Pinterest account might take a few seconds here, but you'll notice once this gets pinned, I'm going to get a success window, which you see right here, and now I can actually click on see your pin, and it'll take me to my Pinterest account where this pin is located. So I can see it was successfully pinned. If I want to see it, it listed with all of my other images that I've pinned to Pinterest, I can go back up to my name and click on pins like we did earlier, and you can see my last pin is cute kitten. So this tutorial should now give you the knowledge and understanding to go to any website on the internet and pin an image from that website to your Pinterest account.